You already tipped off the Balkan by refusing to meet in the usual place. I mean, he finds out you're not the real Ronan O'Reilly, you're dead. Now is the time for all of us to cut our losses and get out of here while we still can. Okay, well, you and Lulu should go, because I'm seeing this thing through. He's not going to quit, even though he probably should. Probably. What part of dead do you not understand? There are always ways to beat the odds. You just have to get creative. Look, look, I know you've been running cons since you could talk, but you're not trying to hustle a two-bit card shark here. This guy is as lethal as they come. One meeting. That's all I need. Well, good luck with that, because the guy's a ghost, and he keeps it that way by killing anyone who crosses his path. Everyone except Ronan O'Reilly, which means I'm in the perfect position to take the Balkan down. Yeah, I thought the same thing when I was working undercover for Sonny. Right, you knew the risks going in, but you did it anyway. I mean, how is this any different? It's a big difference between risking your life and throwing it away. The Balkan hired Ronan. What, what if he asks you about a job you're supposed to know about. You hesitate, he shoots you. I better not hesitate. Oh, come on, look, this isn't a joke. You got a family to think about. Your cover gets blown, your kids grow up without a father. That's a tough life. You don't want that for them. What I want is for my kids to know that I did everything I could to make this world a safer place, just like you were trying to do for, for Michael and then Morgan and Christina. But that's not the same. What the hell, it isn't. You were working undercover, trying to bust a known crime figure. It's exactly the same. Would you have bailed if somebody just walked in and said, oh, it's dangerous? Not a chance. I tried. I, I got too close. It almost cost me my life. Look, you want to go through with this, you go through with it, okay? But you have to keep your emotions in check. You've got to stay detached. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, okay? Look, I appreciate you guys flying all the way over here. I mean, it says a lot, but I'm not backing out. And having you here just complicates the whole situation for me. That's why I need both of you to leave, now. We're, we're not going anywhere. Not the idea was to keep me from getting killed. The Balkans mark, see Ron and O'Reilly walking around with a carbine, it's gotta start. I came all the way to Ireland, you're not gonna kick me out when it gets exciting, right? And she's the one lecturing me about how you believe all the Balkans. Yeah, that's why I'm glad he's pissing you, not me. It's a little ain't worried about. Hey, she held her own at the bar. It must be the Spencer DNA. Okay. Are we going somewhere? Yeah, the Balkans, mom. Had me in a warehouse around the corner. It was out of the way, but not abandoned. I'm guessing they'll be back. Okay, well, we're gonna have one small problem. These guys piss Ronan off. Ronan would kill these guys normally. I'm guessing Interpol is gonna be cool with that. Interpol wants me to be as convincing as possible. There's one thing I've learned about Ronan. Manners weren't a strong suit, neither were morals. Okay, that's my point. This guy who made a living as a killer. If you're gonna pretend to be Ronan O'Reilly and you're not gonna kill people, you're gonna send up red flags. Ronan, it's me. Hi, Ronan's not here. Can I take a message? You got no right coming in here, going through his things. It's illegal. Not to mention stupid. This isn't your concern. If you try and arrest Ronan, you'll be wasting your time. Those badges you and your party may waving around don't have any sway here. Okay, I think you should go. This isn't something that you want to be involved in. I'm not leaving until you tell me what you did with Ronan. Ronan doesn't need protection. He's a killer. Not anymore. I used to hate everything about Ronan. Right down to the air he breathed. I pray to God someone would come along and cut him like a fish so I could watch all that evil spill right out of him. Instead, my Donnie wound up in the receiving end of Ronan's knife. Granted, Donnie was no saint. Far from it. But he deserved better than to be left dying in the street. So why would you defend Ronan when he murdered the man that you love? Ronan's changed. He told you that? He didn't have to. Donnie was killed. His brother went looking to avenge him. Got him ruined his face and lived to tell about it. So? Well, the Ronan I knew would have never let Liam walk away. He'd have been dead for even glancing at Ronan sideways. Well, maybe Ronan didn't think killing Liam was worth his time, not when he could get paid for taking out someone else. It wasn't apathy I saw in Ronan's eyes. It was compassion. One good deed doesn't erase all the terrible things that Ronan's done. Maybe not. But Ronan found his humanity. He deserves a second chance. 
But the longer you stand and cover, the harder it's going to be for you to pass yourself off as Ronald O'Reilly. Unless you plan on taking people out along the way. Hey, G, get around it working for Sonny. He only ever asked me to do one hit. I put the guy in witness protection. I told Sonny the body was in the Pine Barrens. But you can't do that with this guy. He wants to make public statements. He wants his victim's bodies out in the street for everyone to see. He only have to keep the act up long enough to get a picture and a name for an report. That's it. I told you we were full to make money. Guys, back. How much money I lost on this fight? More than should have been. What's the plan? Just make it up as I go. Just the way I like to work. Sometimes it will cover me. Hello there. Just like Aze was hoping to see. It makes sense that you'd want to see some good come out of all this pain, otherwise your boyfriend's death was for nothing. I'm not imagining this change in Ronan, I'm telling you. He, he's not the same man he was before. Ronan is a killer. When he takes a life, he feels nothing. It's all about the paycheck. People like that don't change. They do if they find God. I know what you're thinking. He was right there, Vicky. Yeah. Put a lot of crap. I, I didn't believe Ronan had a soul to be saved. Truth be told, neither did he. Until one day, he found himself in a church hiding out from the police. It's hard to hide who you really are when God's turned down at you. Ronan had to come to terms with the path he's been on. Ronan's playing on your guilt. I know a lie when I hear one. Your father never spoken on his word in his life. I doubt Ronan has either. Ronan's guilty of more things than I can count, but he wasn't lying about this. I could tell by the look on his face. He's a man who's seen despair, but found some hope again. That makes them worth saving. Seems to me like you're falling for this new Ronan O'Reilly. I felt bad about leaving you like that before we had a chance to get better acquainted. You should have kept running right out of the country. And you've got no reason to disappear. The Balkan knows I've been loyal. Getting one over on you just proves I'm worth what he pays me. <laughs> the only thing it proves is you're a fool for coming back, O'Reilly. Hate to break up a good party. Well, what are you waiting for? The cops are going to be here any second. Good. 